So in today's video, I want to talk about the up and coming Super Smash Brothers Ultimate DLC character. I know you guys already know who this character is, but I thought I would give my thoughts and opinions on the upcoming Super Smash Brothers Ultimate final DLC character for the Fighters Pass. At least the good news is, no matter what you think about this character, the good news is we are already confirmed to get six more characters after this character is already out. So even though this is the final Final Fighter Pass character for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. There are going to be more characters on the way. So let's pretty much talk about this brand new Super Smash Brothers character. And honestly, I don't think anybody out there on the internet actually predicted this character to actually be in uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. It does make sense, but nobody predicted it. So the last final uh, character for the uh, Fighters Pass for Smash Ultimate is, of course, going to be Bailiff from uh, Fire Emblem uh, Three Houses. And I actually think. He does obviously, of course, fit in Super Smash Brothers because, of course, he is from one of Nintendo's well-known franchises now. He's from uh, Fire Emblem, and, of course, Fire Emblem Three Houses is just such a popular game from Nintendo. It sold roughly three or four million units out there. Sure, it's not the most popular game from Nintendo. Hell, it's not even one of the most popular series from Nintendo, but just the fact the last uh, game in the series, Fire Emblem Three Houses, sold somewhere around three to four million units sold. That is actually extremely well, so what you can see it does have some steam and it does have some popularity behind the game. Heck, I even bought this game uh, for myself and things like that. So the character, of course, that they decided to choose for Fi Fire Emblem Three Houses, of course, is definitely Bailiff, the main character that you actually control in the game. And I actually have some mixed feelings about this overall reveal and this overall character. I'm just going to get this right out the way as fast as possible. I'm actually super disappointed about the final character in the Fighter's Pass for uh, Smash Ultimate because really I honestly think like a lot of other people we just have way too many uh Fire Emblem characters in uh, Smash Brothers. I wish they would have went with another first party character maybe, or maybe they should have went with something like a really good third party uh, character because let's face it, I think a lot of people were expecting this reveal to be some type of third party character. A lot of people still wanted uh, Geno from, uh, from uh, Super Mario RPG back on the SNES. Some people thought it might be Doom Guy from Doom that was being thrown around. And then we also got the main character, I think Dante from uh, from Devil May Cry. So you can see there wasn't anybody who I think really predicted this character. And I don't think a lot of people actually wanted this character, but apparently the rumors out there were just the fact that apparently they've already uh, decided to put this character in the game a long time ago. It wasn't like last second thought. Apparently they've had this character, uh, they wanted this character in the game to begin with, but apparently what happened was uh, they ran out of time. And overall, basically what happened was they really didn't have uh, they really didn't have any way to get him in the game as soon as possible like when the game come out so they decided to wait this long it just really puzzles me to why they decided to go with Bailiff because if you ever played Fire Emblem Three Houses of course then you'll definitely know that Bailiff is just one of those characters in the game that you really don't have too much attachment to like your main character that you actually play in the game because well you he doesn't actually talk him or her doesn't actually talk in the game and how can you get really invested in a character if they don't actually talk if they're actually a mute so I feel like this is just a bad choice of a character I'm still saying I'm not really a fan of another fire emblem character in Super Smash Brothers I think we have way too many and a lot of people agree with me seven or eight is just flat out ridiculous there definitely is some other uh some other franchises out there that do deserve more love and things like that that don't have any representation in Smash or there are a Nintendo property that does have representation in Smash but just the fact they don't have that much representation it's just not fair. Nintendo is super biased and you can see they have too many characters in uh, Smash Brothers for Fire Emblem but at least I wish they would have went with somebody else that is much more recognizable or something that you have a little bit more connection with when it comes to uh, Three Houses because Bailiff is definitely the wrong type of character and honestly if I was the team over at Nintendo I definitely wouldn't have put Bailiff in the game or the main character you uh, start out with. I would have definitely went with one of the house leaders, maybe like Edelgard or something like that. And on top of that, the one thing that really makes me disappointed about this is not necessarily so much the fact that it's another Fire Emblem character, because I'm pretty sure this character will be fun to play. To 
fun to play and everything like that. And it does seem kind of unique because it's not your standard sword type Fire Emblem character and it's not just another sword type character. But the one thing that really makes me disappointed about this whole thing on top of it being Fire Emblem, which obviously doesn't help the situation for me personally, is just the fact that why would Nintendo, out of everything, decide to go with Fire Emblem? They decide to go with Bayleth, who doesn't even talk in the game, your main character. And then on top of that, they decide to go with like a sword S character. Sure, he does have some other things in his moveset to make him a little bit more varied than just your typical sword character, but we literally have way too many sword characters in Smash Brothers. Why wouldn't you want to go with somebody else because, or some other character or a different weapon? Because there's a lot of different weapons in a Fire Emblem uh, franchise when it actually comes to the weapon choices. So why pick something like a sword? Swords are really literally overused in a, uh, in a, uh, uh, Super Smash Brothers. Even we even had already a one character in the uh, Fighters Pass who already had a sword, which is Hero from uh, Dynasty. From uh, I, wanna, I was going to say Dynasty Warriors, but no, from uh, uh, that one franchise. I slipped my mind off the top of my head. You guys know what, exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, the Hero character has a sword as well. At least he is kind of unique because he does have spells and things like that. But overall, I'm just really super tired of these characters that come out that have swords and Super Smash Brothers because it's really definitely overused. And this is honestly, for me personally, I'm one of those people that just is not too happy about this news. And granted, I'm not one of those people who is not a Fire Emblem fan, so I'm not bashing it because I don't like Fire Emblem. I'm actually one of the biggest Fire Emblem fan, fan, fans out there. I practically practically played all the games in the franchise. On top of that, I did actually end up picking Fire Fire Emblem Three Houses up, and I can tell you uh, firsthand that Fire Emblem Three Houses is absolutely one of the best games uh, the Nintendo Switch has to offer when it comes to RPGs, and especially if you're a strategy RPG fan, then you're definitely going to love Fire Emblem Three Houses. So if you haven't played something like Fire Emblem Three Houses, then I highly recommend you play Fire Emblem Three Houses. But overall, this news was really disappointing to me. It's actually funny that decided to end the past with this character. Honestly, if this was the very final character we would ever get as DLC for Smash Ultimate, then honestly, in my opinion, this would make a, a big, big fail, or it would be a big, big fail for Nintendo. That also pretty much explains why I'm pretty sure Nintendo didn't want to show this character off at something like the Game Awards, like last year. You guys know two years ago, they did show off Joker at a uh, at uh, the Game Awards and everybody was hyped up about it. Everyone was flipping out. They were going bonkers. But here, I feel like this reveal wouldn't really be too much of a big deal. A lot of people would actually be disappointed for this news. And it's actually funny right now, if you look at Nintendo's official video on YouTube for the reveal, it has about a hundred and something likes and about 60,000 dislikes on it. So you can see it's really it really is mixed. There's more people who still don't mind about it, but there are people like me who who do mind about it. At least the good news is Super Smash Brothers Ultimate does have a very big roster, so there is really nothing to complain. More characters in the game are always good, and there's nothing bad about that, so I am glad we are getting another character. And like I said before earlier, this is a character that's most likely gonna be fun to play. However, it will depend on your play style and things like that, But because of course not everybody's gonna like this character or everybody's gonna play this character. We'll really have to wait and see until this character finally releases in Smash Ultimate to see how well this character plays and if it's going to be satisfying and things like that depending on what type of person you are but overall basically my overall thoughts for this uh, final character in Smash Brothers has been a big thumbs down and I'm definitely not a fan of this character. Why put Fire Emblem in it? Why put Bayleth from Three Houses? Why not go with another character? Overall my feelings are very bad for this character and I'm not excited at all. My hype level is pretty much down and it, I thought something else was going to be coming out of this. Anyway guys, this is Wayne from My Tech News. Signing out.